gamers welcome back to another video today we're gonna be covering the brand new tweet that wuthering waves just released about the update or something so i haven't seen this at all so we're gonna be reacting to it fresh take with you guys okay let's go let's go this is the tweet right here the rover to give you a sneak peek into what we have in store for you in the future update we'll share the latest adjustments we're making into the game via the developers verse message before each new version's launch okay so that's gonna be their stream or something that's the equivalent of their genshin impact live streams okay this is the version 1.1 of eons uh, here's what to expect in the new version okay let's see let's see what do they have in store for us they're over to give you a sneak peek yep 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 okay new tuner synthesis feature oh okay you could convert four star three star tuners into five star tuners okay okay i have like tons of them that's good that's good increase union exp reward for unlocking new echo entries okay so it's gonna be easier to level up your data bank to level to to the leveling experience and unlock the late game one for all players we have introduced union xp reward to unlock new entries oh oh okay we're no never mind it's not easier to level up the data bank it's easier to level up your union level every time you put new entries in the echoes okay okay additionally we will retrospectively reward your union xp for the number of echoes you have unlocked yep yep, yep. okay that's good compensation okay more compensation higher cost range for re echoes rewards for activity points what we've heard your feedback about the high variability of the cost range of echo rewarded by gaining ac required activity points in the guidebook to improve your experience we have removed one cost echoes from the activity reward pool now only three to four cost echoes will be rewarded as for the activity points what i don't understand what's happening but sure after one once you accumulate 100 activities coming on then you will see oh okay so it's a guidebook thing i may already finish the guidebook so it, it, this, this doesn't really affect me data bank level cap raised what you could already get level 21 in the data bank that's fast all echoes drop will be guaranteed to be five star rarity that's huge that's actually huge oh my god that's that's big that's big that's big no more four stars new fun in mount firmament echo transformation get ready for some fun select areas of fun you can not transform into echo clang bang to explore the area oh you can transform into an ice cube oh that's cute okay okay uh, other optimizations remove tacit field reward collect animation we already know this lowered shell cost credit for echo leveling okay so we should probably stop leveling echoes for now until next update simplify the cruise wing challenge okay the challenge was easy enough but i guess some people are having trouble with it on mobile so i understand that okay new events and other rewards number one new depths of elusive realm okay so the elusive realm is gonna be reset new like new things oh okay there's a new tokens new mechanics uh symphony rank the mimetic tuning okay 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 1000 asteroids that's very fun that's very fun new area exploration mount firmament area events okay nice we have two new events for the area as well the exploration event for the tales of mount firmament and the photo collection event traces of mount firmament complete these events to earn up to 800 asteroids premium resource resonance potions what what does what's premium resonance potions premium seal chudes and more oh premium resonance potions are the character exp material okay increased convene item conversion each limit on the item is changed what you can now redeem up to seven i know this doesn't really affect us because we're doing a no pull account but this just keeps getting better oh my god that's just so good that's so good and it's increased on all three Raging tides forging tides and lustrous tides each reset that's that's gonna be good because it only resets per patch so by adding a bit more that is a good equivalent you know uh, other than the hoyo games the, the hoyo games reset like every every month but this every six weeks it's seven so if you think about it it's like an equal amount right okay map exploration system new 
Mount Firmament layered map. Layered map? This quickly? 1.1? We had to wait like 3 years to get this in Genshin. Due to the complexity of version 1.1. New map. New map. We've added a layered map feature. Okay, so it's going to be different levels. Oh, wow. The, the, the layered map for other areas in Genshin will be released in future patches. That's okay. That's okay. That's still going to be epic. Look at this three levels in the jinzo peak not the jinzo peak the mount firmament thing new area quest progress oh area quests this is huge oh my god you don't really you can't you just don't need the interactive map anymore if you have this if you're missing some quests just look at this this is so good this is so good guys very good expanded detection range for the loop mapper okay okay bigger like bigger circles for the loop mapper pretty good new resonator gallery feature oh that's good that's for good for collection purposes or if you want to like you know uh show off a character that's very good new star story dialogue gallery feature okay so you could you could just read it after watching the after doing the quest that's pretty good okay we, we already have this in genshin too but that's it's good that they're releasing these features so quickly level requirements lowered for some main quests okay sure uh from level 14 to level 11 and from yeah yeah okay that's very good uh easier to transition you don't really need to wait like a day or something before doing the quests that's very good more number and types of the guidebook activity point quests we've heard your peak that and limited ways to earn guidebook activity points will earn variety okay but we already maxed the guidebook though so this doesn't really affect us but if you're a brand new player this is very good new combat style tags what what new ways to categorize combat styles okay we hope this will help you better understand each resonator's core combat style oh okay support mean damage burst damage basic attack damage heavy attack damage okay okay i see you new chat system style to make the chat system easier during gameplay the chat will be displayed at a half screen height on version okay so bigger screen for the chat that's good because the chat uh it's one of the things that i don't really like about watering waves the chat is so small and it's good it's not really that big of a issue if you're just a solo player but i could see it being a big problem if you have friends and stuff that you keep playing daily you know controller mode controller mode interaction optimizations okay i don't really play with controller but i see i see this is pretty good a lot of people in the social medias have been begging praying for controller mode optimization so this this is good recommended convenient oh is that it that it if you have any feedback and uh, recording on we are committed continuously for more previous and detailed on where we go okay that's it boys that's it okay so what is it at the end of the day at the end of the day we get a new tuner synthesis feature we get more union exp for for leveling up echoes we also get like a sneak peek of the mount firmament thing that's gonna be like in less than a week or something less than two weeks one week i think yeah also we're gonna get more rewards with more asteroid a layered map new area quest progress bigger loot mapper like more features new resonator gallery and new story dialogue gallery features level requirements are lowered new combat style tags which doesn't really matter at the end of the day new chat system bigger chat and controller optimizations that's everything that's literally all of it wow i can't believe that we're getting so many features in less than six weeks after the release of the game this is crazy anyways i'm gonna be uh, streaming right now on twitch.tv slash sidroof if you guys want that go go ahead and go to that and don't forget to subscribe on youtube sidroof right here and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one boys peace out very good update